smiling faces enjoying hard work in space. Everybody is well trained and in good health. We know from past missions that long-term exposure to weightlessness induces physiological changes that strongly affect an astronaut's health and performance. Because space is largely male-dominated, men have been the objects of most scientific studies on these phenomena. Little is known about how the female body reacts to the prolonged absence of gravity. But that is changing. 24 women, all carefully selected volunteers, will remain in bed with their heads slightly tilted down at an exact minus six degree angle from the horizontal for as long as two months. They are not allowed to sit up for even a second. Without actually being in space, this is the closest one can get to experiencing the effects on human beings of long-term space missions. The study will develop countermeasures that will help prevent the loss of bone mass, muscular atrophy, or changes in the cardiovascular system. This research is vital if the human machine is to match ESA plans for interplanetary travel and missions to Mars that could take up to three years. This experiment is a joint initiative of the space agencies from Europe, France, the United States of America and Canada. Long-term bed rest studies have been conducted in the past with mainly male volunteers, but this new study is the most complex one of its kind ever designed for women only. Once three weeks of preliminary tests are completed, the first 12 volunteers are divided into three groups. One will act as the control group and will receive no extra stimulus during the 60-day bed confinement period. Another will be more active and carry out a rigorously designed body exercise program, while the last group will receive a nutritional supplement that will help them maintain the levels of muscular mass and strength. Not to break dramatically with their daily routines, like taking a shower or enjoying a meal, and to help them stay in touch with the outside world, volunteers will be all allowed to read, flick through the television, or surf the internet, as long as they do it horizontally. Apart from increasing our knowledge of how the female body reacts to extended conditions of simulated weightlessness, the results of this experiment could be of value to all of us. The study will cast light on the treatment of pathologies such as muscular atrophy, derived from a long period of bed confinement, or osteoporosis, which is a common health problem in the elderly, mostly affecting women. That studies like this one are useful is beyond any doubt.